الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لسان يفقه قولي We continue with the sixth hadith in the compilation of 40 ahadith of Imam Nawabi رحمه الله And as a reminder to our listeners We are going through this compilation of 40 ahadith briefly looking at the translation and some of the lessons in a concise manner to give us the ability to try and implement this uh, and these teachings into our lives. This particular hadith deals with a very important aspect in our lives, that is the differentiation between halal, haram, and then everything that is in between the doubtful matters. How do we deal with these matters? عن ابي عبد الله النعمان بن بشير رضي الله عنهما قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ان الحلال بين وان الحرام بين وبينهما امور مشتبهات لا يعلمهن كثير من الناس فمن اتقى الشبهات فقد استبرا لدينه وعرضه ومن وقع في الشبهات وقع في الحرام كالراعي يرعى حول الحما يوشك ان يرتع فيه الا وان لكل ملك حما ألا وإن حمى الله محارمه ألا وإن في الجسد مضغة إذا صلحت صلح الجسد كله وإذا فسدت فسد الجسد كله ألا وهي القلب رواه البخاري ومسلم In this hadith Nu'man bin Bashir رضي الله عن narrates that Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم has said that which is halal that which is lawful is clear and that which is haram that which is unlawful is clear and between the two of them are doubtful matters about which many people do not know. Thus, he who avoids doubtful matters clears himself with regards to his religion and his honor. But he who falls into doubtful matters eventually falls into that which is haram, which is unlawful. Just like the shepherd who pastures, grazes his flock very close around a sanctuary, around a prohibited place, very soon he will pasture or he will graze them in it, meaning he will cross over into that part which is prohibited. Behold, every king has a sanctuary and truly Allah's sanctuary is his prohibitions, that which he has made haram. Verily in the body, there is a piece of flesh. If it is sound, the entire body is sound. And if it is diseased, the entire body is diseased Truly, it is the heart. This hadith comes in both Bukhari and Muslim. This hadith is narrated by Nu'man bin Bashir radiallahu an, who is the son of Bashir bin Sa'ad radiallahu an, who was from the Khazraj tribe, from the Ansar of Medina. He was the first child that was born to the Ansar after Hijrah. And after the demise of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he was appointed as the governor of Kufa and later as the governor of Hims in uh, Syria. He was martyred in the year 65 AH. Now, this hadith deals with three very important topics. And many muhaddithin have selected this hadith amongst four or five others as the essence of deen. So they have taken five ahadith and particularly Imam Abu Dawood from all the different thousands of ahadith that he has narrated he has selected four or five ahadith and he mentions that if a person practices upon these ahadith and really puts them into his life, then the real essence of deen is in his life. And this particular hadith is one of them. So this hadith deals with three aspects. Firstly, that which is halal is clear and we should follow it. That which is haram is clear and we should stay away from it. And then in between they are doubtful matters. Now, when it comes to doubtful matters, you and I as average believers, as laymen, there are two things that we should do. Firstly, if we do not know, then we should stay away from it because this hadith tells us that if we continue to delve into these doubtful matters, very soon we will enter into haram. And the second point is that we should find out about those matters that we have a doubt about. Is this halal or is this haram? If it is halal, permissible, we continue with it. And if it is haram, we stay away from it. Then the hadith talks about a very important aspect. 
and that is the purification of the heart. There is a beautiful hadith that is mentioned and it comes in Al-Mu'ajam Al-Kabir that wealth is in the heart and poverty is in the heart. Whoever is wealthy in his heart will not be harmed no matter what happens in the world. Whatever, whatever happens around him, his heart will be sound. But whoever is impoverished in his heart will not be satisfied no matter how much he has in the world. Verily, he will only be harmed by the greed of his own soul. So this hadith concludes, the hadith and discussion concludes with the fact that we should seek to purify our hearts by ensuring that we are only doing that which is halal and we are staying away from that which is haram. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to understand. Wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.